the historical line of Toyota Land Cruiser Sub-Series. Toyota Land Cruiser Series 40. With the advent of the 20th series, Toyota began to pay more attention to the technical improvement of passenger cars. April 1, 1960 began production of the 40th series, which lasted 24 years on the conveyor. The chief engineers were Aiki Shingu and Ken Rusakino. Designation of models, FIX, petrol engines F2F, F, BJX, diesel engines. Cars were produced with different wheelbase lengths, from 2285 to 2915m. The 40th series replaced the Phi, Phi and Phi V models, Phi, Phi and Phi V respectively. The bodies were both with canvas, canvas top, and with a removable plastic top, hard top. In 1963 there was a restyling of the exterior and interior. Inside the radiator grille, the inscription Toyota appeared, a new steering wheel was installed, and the dashboard also changed. In 1968, options began to be offered such as seat adjustment, a rear view mirror, a sun visor, a plastic visor at the top of the panel and a lining at the bottom that covered the bare metal panel. In 1973, a unique Toyota Marine Cruiser, BJ, 1973 was released for the North American market in a single copy. Toyota Marine Cruiser was distinguished by moisture-resistant seats, two-way radios, headlight protection, additional optics, a reinforced winch, a spare wheel case and an aluminum safety cage, on which the searchlight was mounted. The interior is trimmed with the species of wood used in the decoration of yachts. A four-cylinder diesel engine of the B-Series, 2977CS, 88, was installed under the hood. Since 1973, a B-Series diesel engine began to be installed on cars, and in 1975, the modernized 2F-4230 CS-135 APE replaced the Toyota F-Gasoline-3878 CS-125 APE. Cars with diesel engines could be distinguished by the nameplate diesel in the lower right corner of the grille. In 1979, the car received a new form of a radiator grille. Models BJ and BJ were discontinued, instead of them appeared BJ and BJ, respectively. The level of safety and comfort increased, cars began to be equipped with disc brakes, a power steering attached to the floor with a parking brake and a large 85L. In September 1980, a new family of bodies appeared on a chassis with a wheelbase of 2713. Since 1982, they began to install radial type tires on cars. 
On October 7, 1984, the last car left the assembly line. Production was carried out only at a plant in Brazil under the name Bandarante. Yeah,